Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to can how you can provide a stress receipt from your supplier when PayPal asks you about it. It usually comes together with proof of fulfillment, but a proof of fulfillment, I made a video, uh, something like uh, two weeks ago, you can check in my videos about how you can provide proof of fulfillment so that you don't make a mistake. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can provide um, purchase receipt from your supplier. Now, uh, you, know, you realize this one usually comes when uh, um, if you're selling physical items, actually may not be selling physical items, maybe be an organization or something, or you're doing a service, but people usually ask you for purchase receipt from your supplier. Uh, and you need to provide uh, original receipts from your supplier for the items that you say to the customers, okay? Now the supplier purchase receipt may mention like uh, um, how you purchase and all the procurement of items. It has to be very legit and not older than six months, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can do, um, how you can try to generate a purchase receipt if you don't have, okay? Because sometimes you may be asked and you're not really doing the products. You're not really uh, selling the products, but PayPal is asking you for <clears throat> purchase receipt from your supplier, okay? Now I'm going to give an example. If maybe you're doing it at, at the level of uh, maybe um, an organization, for example, I have a friend of mine, I tried to generate for a simple thing, who has not doing uh, physical products, but, I was just having an NGO, you know, and people was asking him how he fulfilled the, the order and now wanted to provide us the receipt from the supplier. Purchase receipt from the supplier. So all you have to do is try to compile a document, give it a, re a reference, and then try to explain to people, dear paper, the payment was a donation and doesn't need a purchase receipt. Thank you. Now, this was enough for him. It sorted him out. Okay, I'm going to give you like, Three other examples. Someone was also um, was just doing TikTok. You know, it gets paid via TikTok, and people was asking him like, "Hey, can you provide proof of fulfillment? And also, can you provide purchase receipt from your supplier?" Now, this is someone who is doing, uh, who is doing comedy, who is uh, really not uh, for delivering products. You know, so he has to compile something. So. I did something like this. Uh, you give it a reference, okay? Uh, then you say, I just, actually, I just explained like, hey, dear people, my business of essay writing, gifts from TikTok videos and data entry services do not necessarily require sub prior receipt. Thank you. Now, this was enough for this person, okay? Uh, so the, the, <clears throat> the next explanation can differ depending on what, you sell on PayPal because no, sometimes you may be just helping a, a, um, a group of uh, people. Maybe I have a friend who is helping a group of women from uh, local women from South Africa. They are doing some crafts, you know. So, they, but these are local um, ladies. They don't usually actually give him even receipts. And now when he sells his products, he has to provide a receipt from his suppliers. Now, these people don't give him a receipts you know and people wants to know like where are you getting them and how you fulfill the order you know so there's like people wants to know like um how these things are how, how you're doing your business and so sometimes you don't have to have a real receipt sometimes you just have to compile a document and explain how actually everything is done you know so sometimes you can even have photos of these people who are doing who are where you're getting the the products because that's what people is trying to understand. Not everything has a receipt, by the way. So that's a second example. A third example was um um I think this was also uh, someone who was getting payments from. He just posted a link. He was not really having an NGO, but he was trying to get some money for his school fees. He was more of a student, so he was asked to provide. Uh, purchase receipt from the supplier, you know, and uh, so um, 
So we compiled something and was like, the payment was from friends and wish, well wishers. I have on Facebook. So sometimes you may have to mention where you have the link of the, the, the payment, where you have the link of donation. Sometimes in paper, you can, do, you can generate, um, you can generate a donation link, which you can use on your Twitter, or you can use on your Facebook, on your website. So in this explanation, sometimes it's important to show even uh, people like, hey guys, um, it's a payment and um, these are guys who follow me on Facebook and they're paying me. Remember, PayPal systems can know how the payment came from. If someone sent you the money directly to your email or you clicked on a link somewhere. So an explanation was like specific. The payment was from friends and we wish well wishers. So it make it makes people to calm down, you know. Or which as I have on Facebook could donate by the donation link. Okay, I have on my Facebook page, and this doesn't need a purchase receipt. So this one really <clears throat> solved the uh, the students' issues we had with PayPal. And when it came to uh, when it came to uh providing proof of fulfillment, you can check also the video I made about providing the proof of fulfillment. So that's how we did it, okay? And thank you for watching the video. In the next video, please subscribe. I'm going to show you uh, the new changes in PayPal. PayPal has removed sending to friends if your business and a lot of stuff which PayPal has made the changes in. So if you're interested in getting all insights about PayPal, please give me a subscription and you won't regret. Thank you and have a nice time.